Hey guys, I picked up a new product. This is Clear TV HD TV digital indoors antenna. You've seen these advertised on television, and I did a video about over the air HD digital television antennas, and I'll put a link up to it. And this is what I said. I gotta tell you guys, I'm super excited that this has worked. It's really renewed my faith in saving money. If you guys want to save 90 bucks or so, go get yourself one of these. So that little antenna turned out to be a great investment. But the difference between that and this is significant. Look at the size of this thing. Anyway, I have my doubts about this because I have bought another smaller one in the past and it didn't work. But who knows, let's give it a try. This is clear TV and it's seen on TV. Look at there. Let's get it out of here and see what it looks like. So this is what you get in the kit. It feels like just a piece of sheet metal, very thin, with a connector, 90 degree adapter, and a little book. We're looking at the back of my television set, and this screws on to this terminal right here but it can't reach in there and that's why they give you this 90 degree angle so I'll screw this on here and then that goes on here so I've connected the angle adapter to the TV and then the clear TV is attached to that and it just hangs up there and I'll keep it a little bit angled because if I go like this it can touch those screws we don't want any interference so let's just turn on the TV and let's see what happens okay now if you notice I have this position right by this window behind me back there and the reason why I'm here is because I did my last indoor test with the other antenna right here in this exact same spot and that worked indoors so we'll see if this one does so now I have to uh, switch my input signal to TV oops missed it there we go TV and it says I have to do a channel scan and that will check for any available channels so it says it could take up to 20 minutes, but uh, we'll just watch it here. The channel scan message came back on. That's because it didn't find out one channel, nothing. What I'm going to do is take the antenna and just push it to the side so it's horizontal now. And run the scan again. Who knows? Maybe it'll make a difference. I read the book and that's what it said to do, so we'll try that. So with the antenna horizontal, I'm now running the scan again. So the scan is complete. And as you can see, there's digital and analog listed as zero. It found absolutely zero channels. I wanted to show where this television is set up. It's right by the window that I did the other testing with the other antenna. So I know it's possible to get digital channels here. But this antenna is just too small to do the job. So the clear TV may work if you're really close to a broadcast antenna. But in my case, you're going to need something bigger. So if you're not close to a city, this will not work. In fact, I read in the book here. It says that clear TV recommends that the TV transmitter station be within 10 to 25 miles and then if you read again here it says we recommend clear TV key to be used within 0 to 25 miles so what is it 0 to 25 or 10 to 25 anyway didn't work for me but if you're close to a city it might work for you so basically I just wasted my 10 bucks 
So there you have it from my perspective. There's the clear TV as seen on TV. And I got to give it a thumbs down. Again, I'm not very close to a tower, but the bigger one did work. But uh, this one's not going to work for me. So make sure you're close to a city or a tower before you buy one of these. I'll save this and give it to a friend that lives near, and hopefully they can use it. If you like this video, give us one of these. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.